Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Painting with Granite. I am your host, welcome. I wanted to just first say that I am not a professional, so I'm just uh, someone who loves to paint. And having studied uh, in Japan in my, when I was uh, back in the university days, like 40 years ago, uh, I took uh, some Japanese painting, uh, sumie to be precise, and I loved it. And I continued to paint uh, uh, since then, and I combine uh, Western techniques um, with acrylics, oils, and then of course with the watercolors with, with Sumier and come up with some fun things. And so I hope you enjoy uh, this show and uh, this podcast. Now, last week we uh, painted a scene here of some uh, of some bamboo, bamboo uh, leaves. And then we had a little bit of cherry blossoms coming in. Now, what I thought this week, maybe we keep this cherry tree, but maybe instead of having bamboo here, we paint a bird. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try doing this. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, it's all for fun. So, all right, let's take a look at our tools. All right, so we're gonna have a paint uh, holder, number one. And uh, for our brushes, um, going to use uh, probably uh, for now again you can mix up American and Japanese brushes if you have them these two are Japanese and these two are American I'm going to probably add in probably a lot of uh, narrow uh, brush because we're going to have this this is going to require some some fine line uh, painting uh, so we're going to probably use those more so than the thicker brushes which we're which we have here but we don't know we're just going to go and have fun and see what happens um, the colors I'm going to use to start with is I'm going to use some ultra marine blue uh, with some yellow and some black. And then I think what I'm going to do to just to kind of maybe um, lighten up, I'm going to use ocean green here. It's a light green, light blue greenish color. I'm going to use that maybe lighten up the blue just a tad. We'll see, this kind of experiment. So let's go ahead, we'll start. Uh, we'll add some black here into the, to our floor. So we'll add some black right there. Okay, good. Need some, need some yellow. Let's put in some yellow right down in here. All right. Gonna need a lot of this blue, so let's get the blue in. Load that up, good. And then for the aquamarine, uh, the ocean marine, I'm sorry, ocean marine, I'm gonna just uh, put in a little dab, uh, maybe like that. Okay, cool. So we use this mostly for mixing. So here we go, we got the colors uh, here. So we got black, got the yellow, blue, and good. And uh, let's get started. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I want to orientate where I want my bird on the paper. So I'm gonna faintly, faintly outline where I want uh, things to be. And so I'm gonna go this way, kind of put the head up here, put the bottom here. Go with like that with the beak. So now we got this area kind of the head and like a little bit of where the eyes. Let's see. It's not that big. Okay. Now this next part we're gonna to want to come in round. So we're gonna move over here. Alright, so now we're gonna come around. We're gonna make this come down here for the wing. Again, we're just kind of getting oriented. With this. Alright, so there. Now, just kind of draw in the neck, a little bit of the breast area. Okay, good. And then here we're going to do the legs. Good. So we're going to have a tree branch then come coming across like this. Okay. And then we're going to have here, we'll have our other tree branch coming down. Uh, with the cherry blossoms, and cherry blossoms all around. This will be open. All right. So now that we've got uh, the, you know, the 
real basic image. I don't know if you can see that or not. Probably not. It's all right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start. Uh, why don't we go ahead and start with the yellow, the yellow bits, with the yellow in. So, all right. I'm going to use a thin, thin brush for this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and we'll start with the beak. And I'm going to switch, switch hands here. All right. All right, so let's get some yellow loaded up. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kinda make a beak here. Now, Now, we are going to outline this with black, so don't, uh, we're gonna just do it right now in the colors and we'll outline afterwards. So let's uh, switch hands here. Let's go to yellow for the eyes. Right, again, just kind of look in the eye. Good. And uh, the next thing we want to do is let's do the, the, just a kind of just kind of trace the breast right here. This is going to be the outer part. This, this part is going to be it's going to be kind of a white, but we want to just have a little bit of yellow here on the edge. Okay, nice. All right. So you already can start to see a little bit of the outline of the. Birdie. All right, we'll put our, um, our yellow down. And next part, uh, let's, you know what, let's um, start with, uh, let's try some black. Let's get the black going. Uh, it, for this, now I'm going to want a thinner brush. So once again, I'm going to take a, a thinner brush. And what I want to do is I'm going to put the black around the beak. And I'm also going to make it coming around the eyes a little bit, give, a, give those eyes a little bit of a highlight. So let's see, let's try it with the right hand here. All right. So I'm just going to come across like this. And, you know, I'm not being like real definitive, just, just kind of making it, as you know, in nature, we. Now, let's fill this in. Kind of make it like a raccoon mask. <laughs> so now we're just gonna make this come out to a point. Okay, good. And now let's uh, come down the beak. So we'll come down the beak and then um, we'll come up, come back across. So let's load it up. Yeah. 
Okay. Not too shabby. <laughs> All right, so that was the outline of the face. So now let's get some blue going. Let's put this down for now. What I want to do is I'm going to uh, take some blue. I'm going to put it here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add. So let's put this down again to the new one here. And then I'm going to add some of the, this is, I keep calling it aquamarine. I don't know why I do that, but put this in here. Okay, look at that. All right, let's mix it up. Okay, it's kind of what I'm looking for. Again, this is your creation. You, you do as you what you like. Um, we're trying to make a bluebird, so um, let's see. <coughs> let's see how this goes. Can't get the brush loaded up with those colors. Bring it right across and hold in here. I like it. Okay. I keep going. Keeping the brush strokes. Keeping it going now. It's just. Um, <clears throat> this part right here is where the wing's going to be. We're going to make that darker blue. So let's continue this lighter shade down here. I need to reload some more. Get some more color. It's going to be a little different, I guess, because I'm making it again. So that, get some of this nice ocean marine. Stir it up. I guess the next thing we want to do is we want to put a little bit blue here, but we're also going to give a little bit of, um, say, white, right? So, so, so this is where it's going to connect to the, to the main wing. I don't know. Jeez. If we kind of go like this, we may kind of... Go like that. Okay, try it out. Just remember, there's no mistakes. Is it your painting? 
do as you wish. I think you don't like it, we'll start again. I think to, I tend to think that I'm the, the most critical of myself. When it comes to doing this, I constantly am like, oh, it's not good, or... Oh, voila. All right. Awesome. Nice. Okay, so now we're going to do the wing. So what we'll have for the wing, so we're going to have the wing, it's going to kind of go like this. It's going to be big coming down and then coming out. And it's kind of over the bottom. So we're going to have the big main wing on the birdie. So for this one, I'm going to say let's use a bigger brush. Let's use a bigger brush. Let's have some fun, let's see what happens. All right. So, let's load her up. You know what I'm gonna do? Just like with the, um, like you did last week, I'm gonna put a little bit of that ocean marine on the tip. So, let's do that. Let's see what happens. Down. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> That's pretty nice. here so let's just go ahead and see if we can okay it's so a connector right there all right so let's load up we gotta get some more blue let's load her up
Okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So here we've, uh, okay, we've got our main body and the big feather, big wing, big feather, big wing of the bird. It's gonna be our white body here. And we've also got white here. We're gonna put, remember we're gonna black trace this. So and I just thought, you know what, let's put a little bit of yellow here for the neck. So let's grab our yellow again. is going to be, let's give us a little contrast, okay, nice, all right, now I'll make it light and dark and let's see if we can have a bar, Very good. All right. Now we're going to get to black. So uh, add some more black here. Okay. And we're going to make uh, the tree. So we are going to envision a branch coming here, which is what the, our bird is standing on. Then we're gonna have another little branch coming up from the top, coming down. So let's do this one first. It's gonna be just us. We're just gonna push down the black, just come straight across, just little little wags. Definitely a swimmy technique here. And, and for the brush, whoops, I guess I used the one I wanted to use. So uh, for now, it might be too big. It might be too small. Uh, the brush that I really wanted was uh, used. <coughs> so we're gonna have to improvise. So let's see what happens here. Let's load it up. So we're gonna make this be a big branch. All right, so big branch is gonna come here. Push, it's gonna come straight across. That's not too bad. Okay. Not too bad. Not too shabby. That was a brush, so we that might have been just a little bit too small. And then here, we're going to have the, um, the tree like we did in the, in the cherry blossom. So go up here and just kind of I don't want to do, I don't want to overdo it. So I'll stop there. All right, let's put this brush down. May use him later. No, let's do some small little branches. So a couple little here and then. And this is where we'll put our cherry blossoms. So, 
looking good. We are looking good. Now let's make the feet of the birdie. So we're going to make a black leg. No, yellow leg. Yes, let's make it yellow. Make it yellow in the feet. Feet will be black? What do you think? <laughs> it's our bird. You do what we want. So let's do that. Let's make let's make these uh, legs yellow. So we're going to start here. Just come on down. I'm going to show. And then that may be a little bit more. Okay. And then we'll have black feet. So then we'll have the feet kind of. So, let's not get uh, obsessed. Just kind of leave that for now. Um, cool. All right, let's get, uh, let's just start doing some cherry blossoms. So, looks like last week we are going to want to have our scarlet red. Get that in. this brush and we're just going to add some in here uh, doing that same technique we did last time so we take this card of red we're just going to go okay we're just going to push down make a little circle and then just come around push down Nice, nice, getting there. So we could use we could use a um, black marker or a black brush. I think I'm going to use a brush. I'm going to try it. See how steady my hand is. So I'm going to load this up with brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to now start to outline our bird. Okay, so give it a little bit more definition and. So I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put my tray down. So I need to keep myself steady.
Ben Yusuf Hanım. Tanışır dönersin. Tanışır dönersin Brown. You might call it top layer of brown on them. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I. Not too bad, not too shabby. All right, so now, at this point, let's start touching up. Well, we could put some of this black, start touching up some things. So what we're gonna do is, uh, just gonna kind of give little dots here and there. This is the, is the marker between the, the wing. And you know, I like this because this is so dark. You don't really need to have a black outline, but put one there. And you know, these are rooms. Let's pop a little puff of black up on here so we can just maybe see this is a D wing. All right, now, belly. Touch that up. Touch Little. Good now. Oh, notice I didn't do this. Fudge sickles. So now that this one's no longer entirely black, let's grab uh, let's grab this. And let's carefully try to trace it. Oh, this brush worked out a lot better. All right, it's not looking too bad. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll put some black at the bottom. Trying to take some shape. All right, so we got our uh, our cherry blossom. So now let's uh, let's put some yellow petals in them. Touch this up with some black dots. You know, uh, Looks like we are done now. So there's a couple of finishing things I wanted to, um, you know, put a little green spuds on these branches. Uh, and then we'll just put his uh, feet, we'll put a little bit of brown in there. So luckily I did bring brown. Um, oh, got nutmeg. <laughs> so I'll put some nutmeg in there. A little bit of nutmeg. And then I want a little bit of green. So. 
Got my premium green. Medium green is what this is, so medium green. And just again, we're just gonna use a little bit to get some new growth spuds. Canvas. So for uh, the spuds. Okay, I'll take this brush, get some green on it. We're basically just going to kind of touch where we think these spuds should be. So maybe one here, maybe one there, one here. And then maybe we'll kind of put it right here. Go up right there. Okay. And then up here, we'll just put in some random ones. We'll put one right here. Maybe here. Gives a little bit of little highlights. Finally, let's fix up those legs. Let's get some brown. Don't know if this is going to work. If this is going to blow up, so I'm just going to kind of go like this. Oh, all right, not too bad. Looks like chicken feet, but okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. And then uh, one last thing I just noticed, and that is, oh, sorry, I gotta get the that black one again where is it where is this engine yeah we're gonna have to come down and make let's make two legs so just uh very lightly we got the wrong one and then you see it's good it has legs sitting like that so after all that there you go bluebird and cherry blossoms